Yes, welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Special thanks to Alex for that informative interview and uh, doing something for the environment. Remember, we have a question on Facebook, and uh, the question is, are you preparing for your retirement? And as we learned earlier, you can retire at 31, you can retire at 35, you can retire at 40, you can retire at 20. It depends on what you do to secure your retirement. Uh, so that is a question that we're looking forward to your feedback so we can sample them towards the end of this. But right about now, it's time. <coughs> for another interview and uh, I have the pleasure to introduce to you the Miss United Nations Kenya and she's going to be representing Kenya in India for the global uh, competition. Karibu sana. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, your camera is number four, Jill. Uh, just uh, give them a brief intro of Jill. Uh, good morning everyone who is watching. Mm -hmm. Just look them straight into the eyes. Okay. Uh -huh. My name is Kanel Jill uh -huh. Otago. Uh -huh. I'm 23 years old, mm -hmm. but na ingiza 24 December, so I'm uh -huh. old. Uh -huh. I'm from Migori County, Kwaobado. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> currently I'm Miss United Nations, uh -huh. Kenya. I'll mm -hmm. be glad uh -huh. to represent or rather to fly our country's flag uh -huh. out there uh -huh. in India. I'll be, I should be flying out on Friday. Uh -huh. And I'm hoping to make Kenya proud. Uh -huh. I have to make Kenya proud. You're hoping proud. to pull a Kipchoge. Yeah. This <laughs> Another Kipchoge this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, what is your background in education first? In education? Yes. Um, I'm done <coughs> with the 844. Uh -huh. I'm awaiting graduation. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was doing a bachelor in education arts, mm -hmm. so early geography, mm -hmm. at Jaramogi Oginga University in uh -huh. Bondo. So this notion about uh, uh, people from your area not knowing Swahili is, uh, is a misconception. I teach Kiswahili. I speak <laughs> really well. And you're good at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe it's because <laughs> you're neighbor in Tanzania. You know. You never know. But anyway, wh when did your passion for modeling begin? Uh, mine isn't wasn't really in born. It's not something I really aspired to do while uh -huh. growing up. Uh -huh. But after completing my form four, uh -huh. I found. Uh, why, if you uh -huh. know what that means, Nika <laughs> Konda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so okay. being thin and tall, my friends were Kanza Kunichocha. You look like a model. Go mm -hmm. try modeling. Mm -hmm. It was just a push from mm -hmm. close friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I tried, and then it became a part a part of me. Uh -huh. It's something I live to do each and every day. It's like a career to me now. So, All right, I tell yeah. modeling to a lot of self confidence, yeah. self awareness physical beauty uh, have you always been like this or is it something you developed over time uh i won't really say i was born shy uh -huh. but then again this industry has built me mm -hmm. because along the way there are challenges mm -hmm. there are difficult times mm -hmm. there are times you break too mm -hmm. so what matters is how you pick up yourself at the end of the day mm -hmm. yeah all right wonderful uh in my life, I've never seen melanin like so this. <laughs> All right. You know the song. Yeah. All right. Uh, we are living in a world where more and more women are bleaching. Yeah. That's a fact. And uh, we have been trained to think light is beautiful. Mm. The lighter the skin, the more beautiful the woman. Have you dealt with this insecurity yourself? While in primary, I used uh -huh. to be the laugh of the classroom. Mm -hmm. Rangi Mishika. Yeah. Uh -huh. And funny enough, those who used to abuse me or rather make me feel bad about my color were more black than I was. <laughs> so I wonder. <laughs> right. but How did you deal with this at that particular time? Uh, at that particular time, I, there's a friend, one particular friend who told me, you know, when people mimic or give you a nickname, uh -huh or do they keep abusing you over a particular time over uh -huh. and over again? What to do is give them a cold shoulder. Uh -huh. Because the moment you show them that you really care, or uh -huh. their words hurt, uh -huh. you get hurt in the process. So uh -huh. I learned to live with it. They could, I could also joke about it with uh -huh. them. As they joke, we laugh together. All right. All right. And I, 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 I overcame. And you became uh, part of it, and you grew thicker skin. Yeah, so when I grew up, <laughs> mm -hmm. the quotes about Melanin, black uh -huh. women, uh -huh. I, I followed that more often. They gave you more spirit yeah. and more energy. Yeah. All right. Do you feel like no other skin would have worked? Do you yeah. feel like this was the right skin that you so were supposed to be born? Sometimes I play around with these phone apps. Uh -huh. and I, 
I look at myself brown and I'm like, oh my God, who is that? <laughs> That's going to be weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, are you doing anything to put that confidence in other girls who are, who are dark yeah. skin? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I actually have a modeling agency, mm -hmm. Gia Models. Mm -hmm. I hope you have a branch in Migori. Yeah, All of right. course. Uh -huh. Because I believe that the people in Migori look up to me more. Uh -huh. Modeling in Migori is not really strong. Uh -huh. So unless you go out there, you can't mm -hmm. make it. So I'm trying to bring it to their doorstep. Mm -hmm. And especially encouraging the dark women. Mm -hmm. I, I use the term black women mm -hmm. because I need people to embrace the black nature of it yes and yeah. the different shades of black yeah, and the that different exists. shades of black that is uh -huh. yeah you m might not be my black uh -huh. but you're still black you're because you're not a light skin uh -huh. <laughs> so i need people to embrace those different shades of black mm -hmm. to make them feel beautiful so that, that's why wherever i go to mm -hmm. i make sure i'm very i look very beautiful in that skin <laughs> in that, in the black skin. My, from yeah. the dress and yeah. from the minimalistic makeup i see yeah, yeah. and the jewelry yeah. i see that you're rocking some african inspired jewelry as well yeah uh, is this something that you do on the regular and is this something you're going to do in india yeah, being an African woman that I am, mm -hmm. it's something I, I live up to each right. and every day that I wake up. Minimal makeup, of course. I wouldn't want that to disappear because it is my confidence. Mm -hmm. I wear that mel melanin that it's the first cloth I put on each day I wake up mm -hmm. before any other cloth. All right. Yeah, so uh, every time I move around, people ask me, are you Justin Bieber? Uh, Do they compare you to Lupi Lupita from several time to time? times? <laughs> several times. I actually look up to getting to where she is, if not meeting her, but at least get to mm -hmm. where she is. Get to where she is. Yeah. For sure. We have seen the likes of Ajuma, Ajuma. doing a thing. Mm -hmm. We have seen Aduta Akesh now Aduta doing a Akesh. thing. Yeah. Uh, do you think they're setting the right precedence uh, for young black girls from Africa like, like, like you and uh, the rest of them? Yeah, I'd say they inspire me. In fact, Aduta is. I guess younger than me, but mm -hmm. she's, she inspires me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look at her strut, those runways, meet those big, big people, and I say, just like Cho Kipchoge, no human is limited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So for Kipchoge, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, it's literal runway. This one for is you, also it's a figurative runway. Yeah, but it's also a race because uh -huh. walking on heels each time is uh -huh. not a joke. It's not easy. It's and not easy. Losing that confidence yeah. over time. With that right. big crowd, it's not I'm easy. I'm about to ask you a very controversial question. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry for putting you on the spot like this. Yeah, sorry. Right, no problem. One beer at a car on a corner for TV. You can get later. All right, so... Uh, before, do you think Africans are embracing this black beauty of the likes of Ajuma and Aduta and Lupita because the white person embraced it in Hollywood or in a runway somewhere in Paris or in Europe? Do you think the black people are starting to embrace it because white people embraced it first? You know, according to my opinion, mm -hmm. It's still a challenge mm -hmm. in these African countries. Mm -hmm. In as much as somebody will see a black girl and tell her, I love your skin. Uh -huh. I'd love to do a project with you. Uh -huh. But truth be told, at the end of the day, they'll go for those light-skinned uh -huh. girls, uh -huh. the light-skinned women who uh -huh. would uh, be so stunning and out uh -huh. outstanding. So what you're saying, yeah. you're a niche. They use you as a niche model. Yeah. No, no, I didn't say that. Right. <laughs> I didn't say that. But you didn't say that. Yeah, I right. didn't say that. <laughs> it's why you say that. Oh, why you ask that? All right. But at the end of the day, it's still a challenge. Yeah, it's People still are a embracing it, but it's still a challenge. But it's still a challenge. All right. How did you get to be the person who's going to be representing Kenya in, uh, in India for Miss United Nations? Uh, there was an online registration, mm -hmm. but then... It's Africa Models that own the franchise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called Africa Models. Mm -hmm. So the after show signed. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So we were picked online. Uh -huh. Photos were sent through that agency. Uh -huh. We were not dealing with them directly. Uh -huh. So through the agency, we were selected uh -huh. a few models. Uh -huh. Then we went for a boot camp in Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. So in Dar es Salaam, only one winner was picked. All right. Yeah, because. Uh, the fran franchise is mm. for the entire Africa. For entire Africa. Yeah. So when we went to Dar es Salaam, we met as African countries. Mm -hmm. So we were finding uh, each representative from mm -hmm. each country had to be so selected. So it was stiff there. Yeah, it was, it was stiff. stiff in Kenya and, and still stiff, stiff over there. Yeah. But you met the winner. 
and yeah. you're going to be representing Kenya. us. Yeah. So you're representing Africa or Kenya? I'm representing Kenya. You're representing Kenya? Yeah. In India, and mm. you're flying on Friday? On Friday. All right, so what were some of the requirements? Apart from the pictures, what else was required uh, for you to enter this competition? So that somebody can enter next year at least. Uh, after submitting, of course, they are, they are professional pictures. Mm -hmm. You are selling yourself with the, mm -hmm. using through the photos, mm -hmm. so they have to be professional pictures. And then they need they need to know your height, mm -hmm. your body size. They first of all see the physical structures, mm -hmm. and then of course it's beauty with brain. Uh -huh. What's your project? What's attached to that? When uh -huh. you become the Miss United Nations, uh -huh. what would you want to give back to the people? Uh -huh. So through the project that was submitted, they were uh -huh. able to know who is who, and then uh, of course the agency came in handy uh -huh. when we went for the boot camp. At least they had to spend time with us. They mm -hmm. could know people watch your behavior, how so mm -hmm. you carry out yourself, can you all that So it was a test all along. It was a test all What along. was your project about? I'm interested in your project because it's very dear to, to, to both sexes. Yeah, I'll give a brief. For the first time at least. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give a brief about it, yeah. but majorly I was, I'm normally moved when I look at the boy child. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, in as much as I'm a girl child, but most of the projects gear towards the girl child, mm -hmm. you know. The boy child has been sidelined. They go through, they suffer from things that they don't talk about. Mm -hmm. Because boy child, lazima we boy child. Lazima How you ngumu, keep man. on crying. I, we, yeah. My face is lightening when you speak like yeah. this. All right? <laughs> they go through depressions <laughs> that no one is able to help them through. Uh -huh. at, in, at the long run, they fall into drug mm -hmm. addictions, uh -huh. commit suicide. Depression, yeah. suicide. All yeah. right. Uh -huh. So, you know, when there's no need coming to the news and telling us that somebody committed suicide, uh -huh. yet there is a real solution to this problem. Mm -hmm. So how about if we indulge uh -huh. the boy child towards curbing these problems that we claim uh -huh. the girl child go through? How about we include the boy child, mm -hmm. you know, while uh, organizing those uh, projects or for the girl child, for the girl child uh -huh. we include the boy child mm -hmm. and let them know that these and these and these are what supposed to be done mm -hmm. and we would like you to help you know they'll also do it from their heart uh -huh. and understand yeah. what the girl and child is going through the, what the girl child is really going through uh -huh. and why in the is, process yeah all right and why is much attention given to the girl child you mm -hmm. know they won't feel left out all right yeah wonderful is this what you're uh, preparing to to push and present when you get to india as well yeah okay uh, considering my country is suffering from that uh -huh. um it's not something i'll go with globally because uh -huh. the same problem probably is not affecting the other also countries also it needs to be a problem that the world understands yeah kind of affects the world but still affects kenya yeah. as well so my global project is majorly on the environment uh -huh. the global warming uh -huh. yeah i'm trying to come up with some of the uh, possible ways in which we can help curb this global warming because currently it affects people globally yes and we are the facing countries. the effects as we speak yeah. there's flooding in the country yeah, as we speak everywhere. we just had a famine in the country mm. it's affecting everyone uh, yeah. there's a lot of pollution in the river just next to us right here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not so far from where we are yeah. and uh, this is a problem for sure all the best in india uh, just uh, remind them your social media handles so they can interact with you and support you whenever you need it mm -hmm. yeah so about that i love to take a minute or so uh -huh. There is a uh, Amani Sasa uh -huh. Foundation. I'm not sure that you've heard about it, mm -hmm. but there is a Amani Sasa Foundation, Kenya. Uh, I'm the secretary there, and uh, I'm a spear header on that. So there is an event coming up for Mr. and Miss Face of Amani Sasa Foundation, Kenya. We need a face that will be representing Amani Sasa Foundation. There is Miss Face of Devolution, Kenya, coming up. Uh, then there is GIA models recruiting new faces. So feel free to contact us. Our social media handles at Instagram. Uh, there is GIA models Africa. GIA models underscore Africa. Mm -hmm. There is Canel Jill. Canel underscore Jill. Mm -hmm. There is Miss Face of Devolution Kenya. You can find us on Instagram. And then don't forget to use the hashtag Amanisasa Foundation Kenya. 
All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you for sharing that. There's a question from one of our viewers, Anoliz. Uh, where do you teach geography and Swahili? So I feel like I'm <laughs> uh, Currently, I'm a teacher by profession, yes. Uh -huh. But I'm currently a teacher on a different field. <laughs> in a different yeah. field. So yeah, you don't I teach, teach in a hills. traditional uh, school. Yeah, I teach using heels, no <laughs> chalk. <laughs> All right. It's not a traditional school, but yeah. you still teach. Yeah, I'm still uh, They teacher. can find you on social media. Yeah. Uh, just give them that handle again, your personal. Canel Jill. Canel underscore Jill. Canel Can underscore Jill. Canel. K-E-R-N-E-L underscore Jill. J-I-L-L. Yes, from Y in the morning. All the yeah. best in India. Thank Colonel. you so much. And fly the Kenyan flag high. Thank you. All right, we've come to the end of this particular show uh, of the day. And to everyone who has sent their answers our way, we appreciate you so much, even though we are not going to sample them right now. We are going to be replying to them for sure on our Facebook. That is at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 channel on Twitter. Keep interacting with us even after the end, after the end of the show, because tomorrow we are still on with Queen's Wednesday. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch that down. My name is Barry Moses. It's Barry Moon Social Media.